what the doctor ordered? These eggs of a blowfly will become a creature associated with disease, death, and decay. Maggots. The front end consists of a pair of mouth hooks to massage flesh that's dissolved by powerful digestive juices. It breathes through its back end, enabling it literally to bury its head in its work. Disgusting, perhaps, but some doctors see them as highly effective at cleaning up dead or infected flesh. I personally think that these maggots are wonderful creatures. I consider maggots my microsurgeons. I consider them the facilitators of my patient care. Um, I am amazed at what they do. Mary Jones is a nurse. Hello, Mary Jones speaking. Can I help you? An enthusiastic maggot breeder. That's me, yes. They can ingest the infection and digest it. They will just gobble it all up. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> they are wonderful. Welcome to Mary's Biosurgical Research Unit in Wales. The room is busted because it contains more than 25,000 blowflies in various stages of development. When they are three days old, we give them a liver feed, which uh, makes them fertile, brings them into their fertile stage. If the lab has any difficulty, it's keeping up with the demand. Have you an order number, please? This facility alone has supplied more than 9 million maggots for medical treatments in Europe. They clean wounds by dissolving dead tissue and disinfect them by killing bacteria. They even appear to stimulate healing. In America, maggot therapy is often considered outside the mainstream, but not to this man. Dr. Edgar Mayans of Coos Bay, Oregon, knows just how effective maggot therapy can be, especially on patients like Shirley Eisner, a diabetic with a stubborn ankle wound that's been slow to heal. See the little guys? Dying to go to work for you. Little yes. microsurgeons, there they go. Dr. Mayans is one of the relatively few doctors using maggot therapy. In Britain, Mary Jones is an old hand at the process. So we put the top back on and we just gently agitate the pot to wash them all down into the saline. Okay? And we take them out. Just going to tip them out now onto the net and the gauze underneath will wick the moisture through. There are approximately 300 hungry young maggots in this squirming little pile. Before application, each one barely measures two millimeters in length. Three days after being placed on a wound, their collective weight will have increased more than 20 times. Good morning. Good morning, Mama Mary. You're looking good. Thank you. We're just going to be taking the dressing off today, taking the old maggots off and putting fresh ones on, okay? And Marlon's going to be doing it. This will be Mr. Hughes' second in a series of three treatments to clean up an infected wound that had plagued him for weeks. It's beautiful, it's lovely and clean, and, and it's beginning to close in, it's beginning to get smaller, the edges are contracting in. That is a beautiful wound. Are you pleased with the results, Mr. Hughes? In death or definitely. I mean, I'm in their hands, I know, but uh, they are they brilliant at their job. In America, maggot medicine was introduced during the Civil War. But the practice was abandoned when antibiotics came along in the 1940s. Its reintroduction here has been slow to catch on. Still, for some patients, the best medicine may be closer than they think. 
sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs, taking science and exploration into the new millennium. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines.